toddler's mouth. Toxicology testing detected no drugs, and although the cause of the death has not been determined, she believes, quote, the manner of death is homicide. And there is nothing inconsistent with the toddler's body being placed out in the woods soon after the last date she was seen alive. Hornsby believes the autopsy. There was duct tape over the aperture, which is your nasal opening, and the mandilla, which is your, which is your jawbone. So duct tape was over the mouth like this, which indicates to me that there's no way to breathe. There's no way to breathe. But points to Kaylee being suffocated and that final results from the trunk of Casey Anthony's car tested high for chemicals emitted when someone suffocates, not chloroform. But either way, it appears that Kaylee Anthony died from suffocation, whether it was actually from the duct tape or if it was from having duct tape put on her for some unknown reason and then being placed in the trunk and actually dying in the trunk. Now, I spoke with Casey Anthony's attorney as he was walking out of court today. Jose Baez told me he doesn't believe these 90 pages of documents really show anything, especially not his client's guilt. He's still saying that his client is innocent. Reporting live at the courthouse, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. We also want to let you know two new motions were filed by the state.